Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on point plot. This is a very interesting plot to have in your collection. So let's start. First, I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, then import seaborn as sns. Okay, now let's uh, sns.set theme. I'm going to set a style white width so i will use this famous data set titanic data set load data set titanic okay look this is the titanic data set we have survived p class six then fair embarked class so many other variables i'm not going to use all of them i will use some of them okay I will use uh, with the most basic plot, okay, and the most basic point plot, and slowly move towards the more interesting ones, okay. SNS dot point uh, plot mm. in S direction. I will use this categorical variable class in Y direction. A continuous variable H data type. You can see that. The data is tiny, the name of the data set. Okay, this is the most famous, sorry, this is the most uh, basic point plot. So, the we have in X direction three different class first, second, and third. In Y direction, we have the age. So, this dot, this dot gives you the mean age, average age or mean age of the passenger who traveled in first class. Okay, this is the uh, average age of the passenger who traveled in second class and same for third class. Okay, so these three points are three different means for three different passenger classes. And this line, this line is the confidence interval. Okay, we will talk more about it a little bit later. And here, this line, this line just joining these three dots. Okay, so I am going to plt dot figure fix size uh, okay eight by six I wanted to make the plot a little, little bit bigger I like it a bit bigger so here we have the mean but if I want it I can use the median as well but for that I have to import the median now by as no sorry from numpy import median okay and then i'll just copy and paste it here and when you want medians you have to mention it here otherwise you will get the default mean so now these dots denotes the median okay and as I mentioned before, by default, this line gives you the confidence interval, right? And by default, it gives you the 95% confidence level, okay? The confidence interval of 95% confidence level. If I want it, I can change it. Like here, I'm looking for 68. Look, the line length is different, okay? If you want, you can 90. All right. Okay. We talked about how we can get mean and median of these dots, right? Mean and median. But if we can get standard deviation too, but you have to put the standard deviation in this CI parameter. Look, now we have the standard deviation and we have this. Uh, confidence interval line really long okay now I want to show you some more parameters and some more style options as well so let's get the mean okay so hue I want to get hue sex that means we have two separate lines for two 
and genders, okay, male and female. We have individual lines for them. Now, let's change the color. I just wanted to show you how we can change the color. We have blue and orange here. Instead, I want red and green. Okay, oh, you needed to put comma here. Here it is, we have red and green. Now, if I want, I can change the markers. Here, both of the markers for both of the lines, they are dots. Now, I want dot for one and cross for another one. You can see, I have dot for this one and cross for this one. Okay, and look at this line style. If you want, you can change the line styles as well. Okay, we can put this one solid line, one dashed line. That's also a good option. One solid line, one dashed line. That's not too necessary because we already have different colors, but by any chance, if you want a uh, different line style. Now, look, we always get first, second, and third, the same order by default. If you want different order, you have to put it here okay so maybe i want to have third class first then first class and then second class look we have different orders okay so i put too many styles in one plot let's make a different plot and i want to get rid of some of it so it's not too cluttered okay so look at this uh, this uh, line right if you want you can add a little bit of cap here cap size 0 0.05 okay look you added a cap size here okay and look by default we get this line joining these dots if you want, you can avoid it. Join false. So you, you avoid the joining line and you have only the dots. Okay. Okay. This kind of lines, this kind of uh, point plot can be very useful in combination with some other plots. If you remember or if you watched my last video on script plot, this kind of uh, point plot can be very useful and very suitable in combination with a strip plot, a violin plot, or a box plot. I'm going to show you one by one. Okay. Control C, Control V. Okay. So add one more. Instead of point plot, I will add a strip plot here. Okay. And look at it. Okay, I want to bring this figure size as well. Yes, I like the figure. Okay, here it is, the default one. I will change it a little bit. Look, this is the script plot. Okay, and we have these dots inside that shows the mean, mean of each category, right? That's a very uh, wonderful addition, right? But I will change it a little bit because when we have this way, we don't need the join. So I will make join false so we don't need this line. I will have a different color because it's blue color. Blue color, this one is blue color as well. So I will put red. Okay. So that. Uh, and here I will add. A little bit of transparency, so 0 0.5. So look at it now. So here, so you have this strip plot, okay, that shows the dots, and in between you get the mean. So this is a wonderful addition, as I said, because you get a really a useful piece of information in this plot, right? Now you can use the same in the box plot as well box and for box plot you don't need this alpha look at it in box plot this line uh, means the median right and you have the mean 
right? By default, you get the mean. So we already have the median, and you get the mean, and that way you know how different mean and median are. So you get the idea of a distribution, what kind of distribution it is, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, if you want it, instead of uh, mean or median, you can use standard deviation as well, if that's, that means more to you, or you can keep it as mean. Okay. And I will show you with Varden plot as well. So here it is. And in Varden plot, as usual, you know this uh, dot, this white dot shows the median. And this red dot from this point plot, it shows the mean. And as usual, you want it you can add the standard division. Actually, I will keep the standard division here because the two other plots, I am keeping the mean. So at least this one can show the standard division. This one can show the mean because we already have the median, right? This, um, uh, this point shows the median. This, uh, I mean the white point. Okay. The last thing I want to show you, the cat plot, SNS dot, cat plot okay let's bring this directly control c control v and for cat plot you have to mention that i want the point plot image okay the column i am going to use the emberg town okay i hope you remember that we have this emberg town here okay let's see so we have class versus age point plot and we have three different plots for three different emerald town okay now let's change the size because i find this plot is clear but i can make it a little clearer aspect 0.8 so look at it so i think it's a little bit uh, clearer okay uh if you want you can add a hue parameter here hue i can put a line just to i think that's an important information if the passengers are alive or not so here it is we have age class versus age point plot we have three different point uh well three different point plot for three different Embark town then we have two individual lines for the alive the passenger is alive or not if you want if you think the gender you can use gender as well or any other categorical variable uh, as hue okay uh, that's all i wanted to share today i i hope you found this uh, video in, uh, useful if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.